The basic concepts of good clinical practices find their roots in the Declaration of Helsinki. This declaration first came out in 1964 and was developed by the World Medical Association. Since then, there have been seven updates, of which the latest was in 2008. The declaration has been adopted by most countries worldwide. As seen in the course on the history of GCP, there are two major principles that are the pillars of good clinical practices, ethics and scientific integrity. Those two principles have to be considered at every step and for each activity in a clinical investigation. Any regulation in the world takes these two principles into account when setting the national or international rules of good clinical practices. If we look at the scope of the document, we see that the declaration not only covers subjects in a clinical investigation, but also says that its principles need to be applied if clinical investigations are conducted on identifiable human material or human data. This means that if we want to conduct additional investigations on existing human material, which is very often the case with in vitro diagnostic devices, we need to take into account the Declaration of Helsinki. If we want to use the data from subjects to write a publication, for example, the minimum requirements of the declaration need to be taken into account so that subjects' rights are safeguarded.